Welcome back to The Last of Us. We are now outside the walls, kind of. Kind of. So this is where <laughs> zombies be? No, not ri not yet. We're going to have to go through one last long section of humans first. And they this is about where I... Infected. And then we have to fight titans. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the point where I usually lose my drive whenever I try to start a new game. Like, I get what through this section, and then I stop, because that's, like, one long session of gameplay, and it's a good place to stop. And then after I finish this, I just never go back to it. Turn around, on your knees. If only Joel was using listening mode. This is no, even if you're using listening mode, no, even if you use listening mode, they won't be there. Yeah, I know. I'm like, this is why you use listening mode, kids. Look the other way. We can make this worth your while. Shut up. <laughs> Tired of this shit. Sorry. I think I'm they get it. enough ra I think they get enough ration cards just by being in the military. Wait, did she just stab she her? Get... Stab him? Stab him <laughs> stab him in the knee, yeah. Stab him in the knee and she apologized for it. I'd never realized that before. Well, it's not like uh, most people like know. stabbing other people in the knees. <laughs> she Why are you she, making she me stab you? She didn't mean... She didn't think they were going to kill the soldiers, though. But she had a good reason for self-defense. It turns out she's a positive on the infected uh, oh, scan, which apparently they've developed a... Why the hell are we uh, <laughs> a, a real, uh, like, uh, futuristic no? scanning device for... <laughs> Explain. You better explain fast. Look at this. I don't care how you got um, it. Um, oh, so it's she got three bit. three weeks old. No, everyone turns within two days, so you stop bullshitting. It's three weeks. I swear. Why would she set you up? So that's why Ellie's important. She's resistant. She's oh, so they yeah. can learn a cure, and then society could go back to normal and shit. Right? That's the that's plan. The plan. That's the plan. It's probably not going to work. Go, go, move! <laughs> well, it would take, like, what? Years before they could uh, distribute that to everybody? Oh, yeah. Gotta start somewhere. I'd imagine. Follow me. Oh, and the people inside them are dead, too. Two <laughs> dead uniforms. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the shirts were dead, too. <laughs> <laughs> or are we talking kill the kill here? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Lewis. I wasn't the one to bring that up. <laughs> this would be a really different game if it was kill the kill. <laughs> Stay away from those lights. Can you imagine taking down infected with superpowered boxing gloves? <laughs> Giant spike tennis rackets. Make it DLC. You ready? This was the first point of my playthrough where the game froze on me. It was right here. It just stopped. I was like, oh, I'm a Time Lord. That's unfortunate. Uh, fortunately, though, the game is pretty generous with autosaves. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the water effects, especially the water flowing down like this. And the characters' models do reflect getting wet. Yeah, mm -hmm. like their clothes get significantly darker if they're getting wet. And then they dry off super fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can you do? It, it's just, you know, I, think, I, I think water is like a graphical thing that uh, people have found out ways to do pretty well, except for the whole, you know, taking a realistic amount of time to dry off thing. But whatever. Um, mm -hmm. uh, well, nothing. No, well, nothing stopping someone from say turning off the game. Do they really want to put system memory to remembering if they got wet? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think part of the reason, now that I think about it, that I didn't have the energy to play through this game is because I played Tomb Raider's reboot right before it. They both have well, pretty similar mechanics to them. The Tomb Raider, though, is definitely more action-oriented. And yeah, more is, uh, of, a tra it... of a traditional 3D action game. Yeah, I played it more stealth oriented though, like with the bow and the and the distractions and the crouch walking and yeah. 
so I played it a lot like this game, <laughs> just just because that was the way I went. Because you could retrieve arrows and you can distract people with them, and you could shoot them at walls and and uh, make noises, and you could basically just avoid burning through all your ammo. So I just stuck to the bows whenever I could. Yeah, that that's basically what I do. I try to keep to the bow in this game as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Through here. I, don't think I did could, have a good time I with. He, I did have a good time with Tomb Raider, though. I, I, one day we get to that game, I can go into depth why. But um, yeah, what when we do good. Tomb Raider the, it, the, seven um, years the, from the, now? The, the, the reboot, specifically. Not yeah, the I'm, as, I'm assuming we would start with the reboot. Oh, yeah. oh it's, it's newer. It's more relevant. Also, the, the, I think the older games. The older games have aged like cheese. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that a good thing though? Because no, aged it, 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 no, age like wine. I think is the better term. Yeah, uh, wine, aged no, cheese wine is a thing, becomes, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's wine becomes wine cheese. by aging. Wine becomes wine by aging. It needs to age to be good. <laughs> uh, there, Ted, you are right about aged cheese, but I think there's only specific brand of cheese. Off yeah, top of my head, depends. so we're talking about depends aged craft. One. Okay. <laughs> yeah, aged, aged processed like cheese. <laughs> it aged like Limber Limburger. People will tell you it's good because it's aged, but no. No, just don't touch it. <laughs> I do have almost all of the, the Tomb Raider games on my Steam library, though. Um, oh, Steam sales. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there by was the a, by, there were... you might think you can stealth through this section. No, this guy, this one guy, will always come this way. Don't try it. Just fight. This is going to be a shootout. No matter what you do, or a brick out. Yeah. <laughs> or a brick out, yeah. I elect the ladder. Why would you want the ladder to run for office? It's just gonna stand there. I go think. On, no, go on, go on, Jackie Chan. Go on, Jackie Chan. Stop I'm taking use my words at face value, damn you! Go as go as Jackie Chan and just use the ladder as a weapon. <laughs> yeah. I, like, it's never happened to me. But is it possible for your partners to get killed in these segments? No. No. Partners can never die. So, ignore them if the enemy is choking them to death. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, if anything, that helps because they're distracted. Yeah. And you'll do free... It's, yeah. it's like a free shot, actually. Yeah. So, just shoot through Ellie. Pretty much. Yeah. The Ellie and Tess ain't no Ashley. You can shoot right through them. Plot immunity is a beautiful thing. Now, I play I play this on normal, so I didn't have enough uh, ammo left to even dream of shooting the guy up there. So I pretty much just had to had to scramble my way through this entire section with him firing at me the whole way. Yeah, easy mode gives you plenty of ammo for just shooting. But once yeah. it, once you hit normal, it wants you to actually prioritize using different things. Yeah, you have to have good aim to make good use of your ammo during the firefight sections and that is somewhat to the game's detriment because it does have uh, wavering aim as in uh, it, it starts wavering when you know, like you're fatigued your your aim uh, it's not perfectly think... it's not perfectly straight because your model yeah, yeah it, it's not perfectly straight I think like in other games with wavering aim it'll be steadier if you're crouching yeah yeah, I get what you mean. Okay. Because, I mean, yeah, it, your, like your aim's going to be off if you're running full speed. Yeah, it's versus like in the Metal Gear games, still. particularly noticeable with the sniper rifles. If you're crouching or on or prone on the ground, you'll have steadier aim than you would if you tried firing while standing. To an extent, you still need to take that, was it Diazepam? Mm -hmm. Diazepam, yeah. yeah. That, to, get, to get it completely steady. Oh, like, it was more terrible in Metal Gear Solid 1 than yeah. in the later games, <laughs> but still. Never forget that. <laughs> There are a lot of guns, weapons in general, I found in this game that just didn't pack as much of a punch as I thought they were going to. With a few exceptions. I'm glad to say that... Well, mind like, you, a number of them are 20 years old, so... Um, <laughs> I guess if that's the justification, oh, right, I can buy that to an extent. But I'm just talking strictly, if you're looking past it, you're looking past the justification, you're looking at it as a video game. Uh, you know, the ones I only found really reliable was the shotgun, which I'm glad, because it's one of my favorite weapons to use in any sort of third-person shooter game. Uh, and the flamethrower. I love the flamethrower. Well, that's because all the infected are weak to fire. Well, anybody's weak to fire. It. It's like, I, I think <laughs> there the are no water has... types in real life. Jesus. <laughs> well, no, it's particularly effective against infected because yeah. 
they'll hear a noise and run into it. They won't distinguish that it's fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the revolver has more of a punch than the automatic, just by yeah. uh, virtue of ammo uh, um, caliber. Yeah. yeah. And gr- this is, I'm saying this after I fully upgraded all of them. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, by the time can, I'm done, you can by the time I'm done speed, with it. You can upload firing rate. You can you can upgrade yeah. all of that. But I'm saying after after the fact, they still don't pack as s- much of a punch I like. Yeah. At, at the same time, though, the, the, you're only going to get like a uh, a reliable kill with the handguns if you score headshots, yeah. infected or not. So yeah, like guns against the infected the are plan? pretty useless Let's unless you can get a headshot because those things aren't going to stop if they hurt. Okay. Marlene's. She said that. Yeah, I upgrade everything by the time we finish this playthrough. The doctors, they're still trying to find a cure. I don't think I found every uh, toolkit on my first playthrough. The... Toolkits are something you need to upgrade your weapons Whatever further. Is the key to find well, it'll upgrade, like, say, radius of the Molotov or something. What she said. Oh, I'm sure she. The Molotovs I found were actually pretty good. Well, I, I, don't, I don't get Me that either. A- again, it's just gameplay. <laughs> you, you swap out the bottle for a. Gallon jug. What if, Joel? I mean, we've and this is the point where just... Tess starts to show her I character. What is out there. Man. I get it. it. Like she's been pretty ruthless up to this point, but when she sees the chance for a for a possible cure, she jumps right on it. More of her nurturing I... side. Yeah, and as we're going to see as she goes on, uh, not so much the nurturing side, but as we're uh, uh, we're going to see as as we go as she goes as we go on that she doesn't really like their lifestyle. She rolls with it because she has to. Well, no, I, not not so much nurturing side to Ellie specifically, more nurturing towards humanity because she wants this cure to be established. Mm, you know, it's she, she does. Well, I, I describe that as nurturing. Yeah, it's just it seems more like she she's more concerned about wanting to do the right thing for a change rather than you know just being a complete selfish ass like Joel's gonna pretty much lean toward for quite a long time. Joel doesn't see any hope at all. So well, what is it? Ultimately, what does it matter to him? It's not like getting a cure will bring Sarah back. No. Mm-hmm. Well, being able to live in a world without be- fear of being be- eaten by zombies is better. Well, 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 he doesn't care. He already lost what every- everything that matters to him. That, and he's pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> he probably won't live long enough for the cure to happen either way. How old is Joel? He's, in he's got a. Well, it, it, I would assume. I would assume. Well, we find out later that he had Sarah when they were. Yeah. He and his, yeah. I guess, wife at the time were pretty young, so he never got to go to college. So let's be generous and say twenty. 20 he'd probably be late 40s early 50s. yeah late 40s yeah and and you have to and and you have to expect that life expectancy in this kind of environment is more in the range of the 50s 60s than yeah, anything he, higher yeah he's probably just really worn out at this point anyway now we're in downtown boston which uh, is a whole lot of Busted up buildings that are leaning on their sides and possibly going to fall over within the next decade, I'd assume. Now, uh, um, a friend of mine who's been playing through this, um, who also lives in the area, she said that apparently they do have an awful lot of um, re- landmarks from actual Boston, but they're not in the right spots. <laughs> so <laughs> That doesn't um, surprise me. <laughs> I- again, so level design. Yeah, but uh, they, it's just, I'm glad that they paid some attention, just not enough. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, you know, uh, they bombed the hell out of Boston to get rid of the plague. Yeah, but that doesn't move the, the train stops just, around. <laughs> no, the, the buildings and everything just sort of bounced into the air and fell down and landed <laughs> bottom down, but in the wrong order. So <laughs> I can I can buy that. <laughs> there are just springs Wait, at the bottom of every building. Yeah, and this is an effect I like because when you're inside the tilted buildings, the entire environment is tilted. So you just gotta angle your TV slightly so that everything's straight. <laughs> <laughs> Except Joel. A majority of this game, though, does take place in Pennsylvania. Uh, once they leave the Boston area. Because the, the first thing I noticed the when the, we get into the later seasonal shifts is they drive down the uh, I-76. Yeah. I was like, well, this is unrealistic at all. I mean, just, there's no traffic jams. 
It's at <laughs> one particular point, and then it's totally realistic. <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah. Oh, dying note. Guess you won't be needing this anymore. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that infected that we saw dead earlier is called a clicker, and I might as well explain what these things do. Oh, I think this is the clicker. Yeah. Yes. Um, these are completely blind, and uh, they navigate by sound only. They also instant kill you if they catch you. Yeah. Basically, and that they, right there they... is all they need to make me feel very tense. Well, that, like that was the, the point. That Yeah, it's like the damn Reaper enemies in Resident Evil 5. Yeah. Essentially, what, what they force you to do is crouch walk a hell of a lot. Very, very slowly. Or use the Basically, bow and arrow. It's like the entire game is the ice section in Arkham City. <laughs> <laughs> Open that door. There we go. That's a good thing it didn't inhale those spores. <laughs> Uh, well, spores or something fungus only puts out at certain times, I think. So, just because there's fungus there doesn't necessarily mean it's putting out spores. I definitely saw some spores fall near his hands. Here. No, the spore has... <laughs> I thought we were... What the hell? I thought we were playing Last of Us. <laughs> were we grabbing pills? <laughs> yeah, we were grabbing pills. Well, they're called supplements in this game, but they're, they're pills. Yeah, pills is copyright. Okay, hold on, I gotta stop too.